Okay, good. Um, so we, 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 we learned in the Mishnah yesterday that all the different uh, times that we lay, while we lay on Pesach and then Sukkot and Shavuot, etc., etc. So our Gemara goes through all of them with uh, more in depth. So Zogdi Gemara, Tanrabon, yeah, we're on Lamed Aleph, Lamed Aleph by the Gemara. So Tanrabon, on Pesach, Karim, the Parshas Mayadais. On Pesach, we read the, the Parshas of the Yom Tov. And Maftirin, the Pesach, Gal, Gilgal. With the Pesach that was in Gilgal, right? That's in Yeshua. That's the first current Pesach that they brought in Eretz Yisrael. So there was uh, whatever they just uh, goes through the Psukim there. Yeah, for Idna, the Ika Trey I mean, nowadays we have two days Yom Tov. Right, so Yom Akam of Pesach be Pesach Gilgal. On the first day we do the Haftar of Pesach Gilgal, and Machar be Pesach Yeshua, and the next day is the is um, the Karban Pesach that was uh, by the days of Yeshua. Yeah, for Shari Yom Isa Pesach, Melaket be Karim in Yonishal Pesach. The Torah takes different uh, from different places that discuss Pesach. Maihi, what are they? Amar Papa Mafu Simon. Right, so Rashi says Mishchu Kuchul Lachem Tzayim Im Kesef Talvas Ami Psal Lacha. Right, um, yeah, so that's those are the that's what you read on Cholamayat. Yom Tov Achor and Pesach, last day's Pesach, Karen Vayi Bishalach. Right, we read that this week's Parsha. So, I didn't even think about that, right? This week, Vayi Bishalach, um, because that's uh, the Tzias Mitzrayim was on the seventh day of Pesach. Umaftir and Vayi Daber David, Ulamachor, um, Kola Bechor, and the next day the laning is Kola Bechor. Yeah, which is the same as as Shavuos. So Maftir and Oid Hayyim, but no, right that that day, no, fine. Am Rabbi, for Idna, Nog Amul LeMikri. Nowadays, the minig is to read. And now this is another another what do you call it? Meshach Tyra Kadesh Bekasu Psal B'Mad Shalach Puchra. Yeah, so that's uh, um, so that's that's all the different parshiyos that we that we read. Fine. Um. Yeah. Okay. So then, okay. There's some issues with what, which one you lay on. Shab is how it works with this, but okay, that's what you lay on. Pe- that's the simon for what you lay on Pesach. By Batzeres on Shavuos. Shiva Shavuos. We we read the parsha Shiva Shavuos. Maftir and Bchabakuk, and we have the Haftar on Chabakuk. Acher Maimrim. Bachaydash Ashlishi. Others say that the, we read the Psukim of Bachaydash Ashlishi with the Psukim of Shvuz and Maftir and Vamarkova, and we have the Maftir of the Maisa Merkova, which is before the world happened. But in the Ika Trey Yaimi, and nowadays that we have two days Shvuz, Avdina Bet Ketarvayu, we do like both of them, the Ifcha, but the opposite, meaning we do on the first day Maisa Merkova, and then the second day, um, well, that's the Haftar. Then the, the, the laning is. Uh, the, um, first, we talk about the and then the, and then the next day we discuss the other parsha and the Maisa Merkava goes on the first day. We said we said the reason why Maisa Merkava goes on the first day is because we're up a whole night, so everybody's sleeping. Because we had that Shiloh where the Maisa Merkava is even allowed to be read in public. That was a joke, not a real shot. That's uh, right. Yeah, fine. Barosh Shana, Bechaydish Ashvi, Umaftir and Habein Yakeli Afray. There you go. Song of the Daf. We haven't had one in a while. The second day we read about the Akeda, Umaftir and Haben Yakir. Fine. Why do we read the same thing? We Why don't we, we? Yeah, we said by Shruis, says Trey Yaimi, we read the same thing, no? No, by Shruis, we don't read the same thing. No, oh, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. Okay. No, you, I, I hear your kasha, meaning why Stamas? Why do we need two separate? I mean, if the second day is a fake of the Yaimi, why does it need its own laning? Why can't we okay, just so it could the same be, thing? Well, Shoshana is difficult because it's a <laughs> rechta. There could be, I don't know, I'm not sure. Is okay, but all the all the Yom Tov, all the Yom Tov. Yeah, that. why are we why are we doing two different? That's I have it bothered me this morning. I don't know. Yeah, why. I don't know. That's uh, I don't know. That's uh, <laughs> I thought yeah, I was wondering that. I right? thought Pshat was to show that to, the Chazal wanted to show that it's not just because it's fake of the Yom. It's a new Yom Tov. we don't hold it's fake of the Yom today. 
it's its own yamtiv. It's yamtiv to Rabbanon. What do you mean? The second day is more kind than the first. You could bury a mace on the second day than the first. True, day. because it's a Rabbanon, not a deraisa. So good. It's so not it's a fake of the yama. If it was all fake of the yama, you wouldn't be allowed to. Right. One real out of one. So it's not Sveka. It's not really Sveka. Right. It's, it's a new Yamtuf to Rabbanon. It's not a new Yamtuf to Rabbanon. It's a new Yamtuf? The way we pass it. Gersh, how do you make Shachiano? If it's, you know, if it's not Sveka the Yama. Yeah, no, we say that. We spoke about that. Yeah, we had I mean, We look at it like it's a separate Yamtuf. Gershon is right. We do look at it like a separate Yamtuf. I still don't understand why that means you need a new Laney. Because I wanted to show it's not just the Sveik of the Yama. It's a new, it's a new okay. Yamtuf. Uh, that's a, that's a Chiddush. That's, that's a Shtikal of Chiddush to say that. Chiddush okay. Rabbeinu Gershon. What? Chiddush Rabbeinu Gershon. Oh, Chiddush Rabbeinu Gershon. I hear. Very good. Okay, fine. So that's, so that's what the Yom Kippur. Over Mincha, Kairin... Kairin ba Arayas u Maftirin ba Yoyna. On Mincha, we read the Arayas and we do Mafti Yoyna. Now, a uh, famous Tysus right here. There's a go from for Shua March or Gago. There's a famous Tysus, yeah? What's Tysus? Second Tysus down. Why do you read Arayas by Mincha? I love this Tysus, yeah? Why? Because Lafisha Anoshim Mikushatis, Peshvil covered, yeah, Zebo, you're not going to like what I'm about to say. Lafisha Anoshim Mikushatis, Peshvil covered Ayoyn. The women are dressed up because of the cover ayam of Yom Kippur. The fikach tzarech laskiram shalai yikashul ben. You have to remind them that you have to remind the men not to be nichshol with looking at the women, right? Know. Yeah. Well, now, one second. If this was nowadays, and the the rabbis realized that there's a problem with the women dressing up too fancy, you think they're gonna say a takana? You know what? We're gonna read the parsha right? So they're gonna go make asifas and tell the women to stop dressing so nicely. Okay, that's not a question. Okay. I know you're not going to like it, but why wouldn't you say, if I was a rough back then with Tysus, I would say, okay, so tell the women to stop dressing so nice on Yom Kippur. No, the Gemara, the Tysus doesn't say, for, for, for till the end of time, we're all laning Arias by Mincha. We have to turn to our kids and tell them, you know why we're laning Arias? Because the women are dressed up and you got to be careful. Does that make any sense? What was why can we just tell oh, them to not to get? Hazard, to I don't know. I gotta find we, another we, show we, to go to, apparently. Wait, <laughs> to be machazic, to be machazic. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. 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 So go ahead. The, it said they the 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 psoolas were dancing. So that too. It's not such a big kasha. <laughs> their mother, their, it's their mothers want their mothers didn't want it, they didn't want the mothers to be jealous of the psulas, you know what I mean? So they like that's they got that's dressed up. No? Byron, that's because there was no shit crisis back then, probably. Well, because oh. of the dancing. Right. <laughs> Rashi, what does Rashi mean? What does Rashi mean? What does Sorry, Rashi but, mean? Yeah. So that's the second shot in Tysus. Tysus says the second shot, right? But I know all I want to say, all I'm trying to say is that we make the woman the sugar. The bottom line is, is when a woman goes out on a yomtif, she has a need to look good. And if any man is going to say that you can't look good, you got to do that. That's not the way. You cannot take away from women what's rightfully the belongs The yomtif of Yom Kippur. We're talking about Yom Kippur. Correct. Yeah. Even on Yom Kippur, call shikane on other Yom Tavim. If, they're, if, if, we're, letting them, every other yom if right. we're letting them be dressed up, the covered hayoyim on Yom Kippur, and we're not, we're not, Whatever I don't know what a, what a lotion they use. We're not making them the sugar that they're looking prust and they're looking prust and da, da, da. we still let them. And because of that, we lay in mincha. Then kol shikain and other young. you can't take away from women what rightfully belongs to them. That doesn't mean they should dress prust. I'm not. We're not going down that road. This, bond- is, this is the same thing as the lay shaitel. You shouldn't be looking. Take away. Uh, you shouldn't be looking. Uh, sort of what I was headed to, but you know that's yeah. certainly part of it. And, but Yitzi, it's not only it's no pun it's every mishugas. It's every mishugas that they make the ladies crazy about, and the length of the shaitels, and this type of sleeve, and that type of skirt, and this. Leave them alone. Just leave them alone. Let them be. Whatever. Anyways, okay, that was my horror. <laughs> if you don't like it, then that's the way it goes. But then at the but second key, shot, a key line in sh- <coughs> a key line in the Tysus of Siyako. He says, Bishvil covered a Right, exactly. Yeah. They, yeah. they have to they, if they're doing it for the covered a then it's fine. Yeah, that's what Correct. you're saying. 
It's yeah, a, it's a, it's a, and you want to know, it's a, it's a pala with Tzviakov. Yeah. They were reading this uh, tw- 10 minutes before Neela. When at the end of the right. day, you know, <laughs> a, person, a person's like supposed to be like a malach almost by Neela. The You're bottom right. line That's is, a... if there were such big about Tivus then, what does that say for us now? Uh so, and the Hanami, that's a shvach to us, Aaron Captain. That's a, that's a shvach to our door. I was going the other way, but okay, fine. No, yeah, what do you yeah. mean? Don't go the other way. Why are you embarrassing that without my shul? Don't go the <laughs> other way. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I believe our door. We keep Taras HaMashpacha. We, we discussed this a lot. We keep Taras HaMashpacha to the most chomradik of any door since Moshe Rabbeinu. We're, we're machmer on everything. And we have the most preachers of any door. And yet, the znus is at a minimum, and we're, we, the island behaves. And it, to me, it's, I don't even know why Mashiach's not here. I don't know. I don't know this. And the men don't get married at 18. They get married at 22, 23. You know, kind of get him. That is on men. Whatever it is, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's totally insane. But anyways, enough of that. Yeah. Um, but the second shot is that it's a, like a remez that, um, that the, that, uh, the Rabbi Nisham is telling us you should not, uh, you should uh, got to do tshuva, just like a gilu yervas, to be megala yourself, so you got to also be megala all your other chatoim, right? Not other chatoim, meaning you megala your chatoim to uh, um, the, that you don't do averis. So, and Arias is one of the ones that the nefesh really wants. So that's, that's, that's why we read. That's why we read that. Okay, fine, right. So I'm Rav Yechanan. Wait, that's what Tyson is saying? What? I thought the second answer Tyson's. Tyson is saying that the same way we don't do chatoy, meaning you, we have a desire to do znus, and it's a strong desire, but we don't do it. So, Mamela, you, should, you shouldn't be doing any other Averas too. I think that's the way I understood it. I thought right? Tyson says the Remez la Kaddish Baruch, that our laning is being Miramas to Kaddish Baruch. Just like you told us not to be Megala Erva. The, the truth is, you're not, you're truth we're is telling you them. not to be Megala our Erva, our Averis, any Averis. Just hide them. So I wasn't way. sure if that's not, I'm, I'm sure if that's what, that last part, I'm not so sure if that's what Tysus meant. But yeah. But that's, the same Shehiz or Oysam, Shalom Megalas Erva, just like the Rabbani Shalom, Shalom Megalas, Kach Lois Megala Erbosom, but Avoyn Oysam, Shalat Megala our erva in, in our Averis. Right, so that That's part I'm not exactly Galea. sure. You shouldn't be. Right, so you that part I'm not Megala exactly Erva sure. Yes, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, so the way Rashi, I thought maybe Tyson is saying the same as Rashi, but now that the island is discussing, maybe not. Rashi just seems to say that the same way that Arias is an Avera Matsuya, Aaron Kaplan, that's what Rashi says. It's an Avera Matsuya back then. It's not an Avera Matsuya now. Can anybody say that Arias is an Avera Matsuya now in our door? That's what you call Arias. I don't know. No, don't go down the that The Torah says what Arias is. Arias. Zavi, we didn't even come up with that one. Arias doesn't mean uh, women wearing well, lace shaitans, okay? I don't care what the rabbi says. game is not Arias. It tells you in the parsha what Arias is. Right. Yeah, anyways. He's saying the same way. You should, you want it, You have to stay away from something that your heart really wants, and so do this. What do you mean? What yeah. do you mean? It, it doesn't take place? It takes place. It does, but it's not Mitsuya. You're not going to call it Mitsuya. I know two guys in the past two weeks. All right, five all right, years. All right, all right, all right, five yeah. years they're having related it ha- from guys. Five okay, years. Okay, okay. Good, good. Still, yeah, still not Mitsuya. It's that's still not Mitsuya. No, it's that's not Mitsuya. No, it's not Mitsuya. Or Hashem. Halavai Vaita. Halavai Vaita. Anyways, okay, second thin line, second second line up from the wide line. Also a, a hard Gemara to understand. Not not conceptually hard. Yeah? Any time that you're going to find Hashem's strength, you're going to also find that Hashem had anivas. Yeah? Exactly what that means, I don't know. So, that was a cause of the it says it in the Torah, "V'shani b'neviim u'mashulish mashulish b'ksuvim." So it's in the it's in the whole Tanakh. Kasev b'tayra ki Hashem alekeichem hu alekei alekim v'adonai adonim. So it says he Hashem is the is the master of everything. Uksiv basrei oisem mishpat yasam v'amana. He does a mishpat for a yasam and an amana. Right. 
So Shinab so, so you see that Hashem does have see now why is that called Anivus? Right? What does that have to do with Anivus? So I, I don't know exactly. Do clear, clear. I saw Mishpit Yasmin does Mishpit with the downtrodden. I understand. So that's Anivus. What do you mean? What he, he get Hashem is is the is the is the is the is the king 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 of kings and he's going down to people to to take care of these people. Okay, so that's called Anivus. Okay, maybe. Well, maybe. Usually, usually a king doesn't deal with the little subjects. I hear. Okay, maybe, maybe. Sure. All right. It's a second in the Right, the one who's on uh, somebody who's low, right? So that again, that he's going to to take care of the people that are low. and it says it a third time. Right, somebody who who travels in the aravis. In the in the highest of uh, what do you call it, in the I don't know the heavens what or the rakia whatever you call it. He's a father of Yisaimim and he is a dayan for almanus, which is another kasha. Exactly what does that mean? Father to Yisaim, you understand? He's a dayan. He judges almanus. No, he's the judge he's, of, of almanus. Dayan almanus. He he defends the almanus. I, I guess that, but that's not a judge. A dying means a judge. A, di- a judge can either prosecute or defend. Okay, maybe. I'm I, saying. That's why I learned this. Is it wrong? Okay. I that, you could, no, I don't know. I don't have a shot. I don't have a shot. I don't have a shot. So I, I thought yep. that usually, if a, if a person has a, a pickpocket with someone, so he goes to a die and he goes takes him to a din tyrant. The Almana gets to go straight to the Abish to the din tyrant. He gets to. To fight her fight. Like if she became an Almana, she already had it. It sounds to me like if she's an Almana, she already had it in Tyra that she lost. I don't I don't call it lost. I'm not gonna call it lost, but uh, you know what I mean. No, I, it means cause someone causes her pain. Fight back, I have to start. That's right. something else. Someone I, causes her pain instead of going to a Bezdin down here, she can go straight to the Abish. Uh, okay, all right. Okay, those are all being all read in, uh, you know, very okay. Maybe drush. it's all drush. Yeah, it's drush. Yeah, hundred percent. Fine. Yom the Rishon Shocha. Current parshas Ma'ayda Shepetaras Kainim. We read on Sukkot. We also read about the Yom Tov Maftirin. Hina Yom Ba Hashem. But in Adika Trey Yom. I now there's two days Sukkot. So Lamacha Mikre Lamikre Hachanami Krinon. On the next day we read. It's interesting how to teach this. The next day we read. Um, the same thing as the first day. So, you know, why Sukkot? Why is Sukkot getting the same? Different than Pesach. Why Sukkot? Correct. And, and Shruis. And Shruis. Okay. Yeah, and Afturei Mai. What's the Afturei? Afturei Mai. Yikolo El Melech Shloima. V'shak Lo Yimai Zachag. And the rest of the day, Sukkot's Karim B'Karbonah Zachag. We read all the different, the different Karbonahs, right? Because there's different amounts of Karbonahs every day. Yom Tev Acharen, Karim Kola Bechar. Last day we read Kola Bechar. And... Mitzvah is v'chukim u'bechar, and the mitzvah is and the chukim and uh, and bechar. Umaftiren v'hik kechale shleima, and then lemachar karim v'zay sabracha. And the next day we say we do v'zay sabracha, and we do simcha starim. Maftiren v'yamad shleima. Fine. So mm-hmm. now, how come Taka? Um, I think the art scroll brought this. Uh, why don't we, why is Simchas Torah, why don't we finish the Torah by Rosh Hashanah? Right? How come Simchas Torah goes, waits till, till after Sukkot? So they bring from somebody there that if you would have it finishing by Rosh Hashanah, which would make the most sense because that's the end of the year, then you're going to have to skip a bunch of Shabbos because we don't lay in the Parsha. So it doesn't make sense to start Beratius and then you're skipping one week, two weeks, three weeks. So Mamela, they pushed it, they pushed it to that do you, when you start Piratius right after Sukkot, and then you go straight. You don't start right off the bat with skipping. Right? So interesting, interesting. Why, uh, it by Rosh Hashanah? Why not? Shouldn't you finish I mean, by that's, Rosh Hashanah? That's what you're saying? Yes. Please. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fine. Then Omar of Huna Amarav. Really, we should start at Rosh Hashanah. I am Haras We should start. Whatever, right. So that's, but we don't, right. Yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't lay the weekly parsha on Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, 
Right. So Rabbi Yehuda says, Shabbos is because of Shema. It's because the same reason that, that why you have Simchas Torah by Simchas Torah, not by Shavuos, because you have to, you have to, you have to do the work. You have to harvest in it. If it was on Rosh Hashanah, it'd be like an official stop. It, it, this is we, we we you finish the Torah when we finish you, when we finish learn when we learn. That's what right. the Simcha is. If it was been Rosh Hashanah. All right, it's a different tarot. It's a different tarot. It's okay, yeah, I hear that. But this, this was a more practical. You don't want to start off with, with jumping around parshias. Okay, so I'm going to have Shabbos Shechol Yis Bechol Shomayr. Bein Bepesach, Bein Besukas. Avi, this is what you were asking yesterday. Mikra Karinon, Re'ato. We always read the Re'e. We don't read the regular uh, Shabbos, right? If Turi Bepesach, Ha'atzomas HaYaveshas. On Pesach, we say, Ha'atzomas HaYaveshas. If Besukas, Be'yoyim Ba'goy, when Goy comes. Fine. Chanukah be Nesim, as we know, Chanukah is Nesim. Um, Avtiran be Neiros de Zacharia. We talk about the Neiros of Zacharia. Bim Mikale Shtei Shabbos. What happens if Chanukah first day Chanukah is a Shabbos? That means you have two Shabbos Chanukahs. Kamaisa be Neiros de Zacharia. Pesraisa be Neiros Shloima. Fine. But Purim by Yavai Amalek and Barashi Chadashim of Rashi Chadshechem. Rashi Chaydish Shcholias be Shabbos. Mavtiran by Ayu Midei Chaydish be Chadshay. Right and Chaylias be Echad be Shabbos. So when when it's right, it's also interesting that when Rosh Chodesh falls out on the Bechad Rosh Hashanah on a Sunday, Me'esmo Maftirin Vayomer Le'Yainus on Machar Chodesh, which is I always found interesting. So why do we need an extra uh, special Aftarah? Because tomorrow is Rosh Chodesh. You got because it happens to be that there's a pasuk in Nach that says Machar Chodesh, right? So why do you have to? Okay, that's that's what it is, but I I don't understand the pshat. Wait a minute. So if it comes out on Sunday, then what? When Rosh Chodesh falls out on a Sunday, we switch to have Torah of Shabbos to 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 Machar Chodesh. Oh. Right. So what is Machar Chodesh mean? Okay. Tomorrow. The, the tomorrow's Rosh was Yainusin. It's the story of Yainusin and David, and he says Machar Chodesh, and that's how it starts the parak. What does that have to do with Sunday being? Because Shabbos is Machar Chodesh. Tomorrow's Rosh Chodesh. It's a fascinating thing, right? Because tomorrow's Rosh Chodesh. So there's a pasuk that says Machar Chodesh, so we're going to change the Torah. It doesn't, it's still because on Shabbos, when you're reading off Torah, tomorrow is the Shaydish. Right? Taisa seems to have the opposite problem. Well, Taisa? He, he seems to find it so posh that we would lay Machar Chaydish. Then why don't we even lay it in a posh that we call it What do you mean? Yeah, you mean that that's a. Uh, yeah, that's I don't know if that is, Taisa is yeah. not like that. Right. That's no, where it's kind of in the opposite direction. They, but that's where they get the minhag of reading the first and last pasuk sometimes. I think they only do it for Machar Chodesh. There are many shuls that have the minhag. Oh, they add another put the pasuk at the end. Right. The, at the end of the regular Haftorah, let's say if Shkalim and the next day is Rosh Chodesh, they will take the first and last pasuk of Machar Chodesh. But if it was Rosh Chodesh on Shabbos, they wouldn't add the Rosh Chodesh pasuk. Right. You mean if it was, yeah, I think right. So that's maybe, I, I, don't, the, I don't know yeah. what. The Ezra so Torah Luach usually says most communities have that minhag only when it comes to Machar Chodesh. Interesting, right, interesting. I hear. You always uh, looking in the Ezra Torah Luach, are you a Gaba or something? Retired. Oh, there you go. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Excellent. Well, you still got it in you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's also an interesting zach that so every day that there's every day that there's extra carbonus, so we bring out another safer tire, right? Every single day, Russia, we have we're learning Pesach, Shuis, Sukkis, right? We ran off tire for the carbonus. There's only one time that we don't Shabbos, Shabbos, there's extra carbonus, right? And we don't bring out two safer tire on Shabbos. So that's Taisus on Daf Chavkim Olamet Aleph. We did part of the Taisus, but Taisus on Chavkim Olamet Aleph, the first reason he said, he brings a few reasons. The first reason he says there's only two Psokim, right? Uh, we learned that a few days ago. There's only two Psokim of Karbonus for Shabbos. And we learned that you only, you can eat to lay in three Psokim, right? So if you can't, so it's just, it's just a practical thing that you can't, right? Okay, I can show that Taisus brings a, a few other um, shot fine. Amar Afuna on the bottom now we're on Tamer base. Amar Afuna, 
Rosh Chodesh Av, Shir Chali is B'Shabbos. So Rosh Chodesh Av falls out on Shabbos. So Maftirin Chachechem Vayadechem Son and Avshi Hoyo Alay L'Toyrach. L'Toyrach, yeah? So um, that, and that Pasuk talks about Rosh Chodesh. My, my, how you alai l'toyach? What does it mean that it was on me? They become a tircha to me. Hashem saying that Klai Yisrael become has a tircha to me. Amar Kadosh Baruch Hu, light dayin lahem liyisol shechaitin lefanai. It's not enough that Klai Yisrael does things wrong in front of me. Ela shematrichin as he laid the azik zera kasha of the alayim. They matriach me to know which gezera kasha I am. I should bring onto them. So it's a tircha for Hashem to try and figure out what kind of punishment he has to give to Klai Yisrael. It's a real Tisha B'Av type uh, Haftar. All right, but Tisha B'Av, Gufei, Maim of Tarina, what, what's the Haftar on Tisha B'Av? Amarav, Eicha, Haisa, Lezayna. Look how she's become like a, a Zayna. Mikramai, what's the reading? Tanya, Achenim, Ayrim, Vim, Lai, Sishmuli, that if you don't listen to me, those are the Klolis. Um, that's part of the Klolis. Rabbi Nassim, Bar Yosef, Ayrim, Ad, Ana, Yenat, Zani, Ha, Mazir, until one of the people are going to make me upset. All right? Until when are they going to be the, um, this bad, these bad people? Right? Nowadays, the minig is that we read Kisailat Bonim. Which is Taka the way we, which is Taka the way we post it. What? I don't know if it's a Paskin. It's, it's not, it doesn't seem to be a Machlaik Zatin Abayi and Rabbi here. Right? Uh, yeah, this this Tysus, this big Tysus here is also asking why there's a few things that we don't seem to do like the Gemara said. But uh, okay, that's uh, there's different Hanhagas for what happened through the Rishina. All right, fine, right But my mother's, but my separation. So my mother's, as we said, when the, the people that didn't go to the Beis Hamikdash are reading, are, are they can't they can't be there, but a Korbanus. So there's a whole group. That read different parshi. So they read my separatious, Minani Mili. Right? How do you know that that uh, that my mother's what does that have to do with my separatious? Amar Ravami, El Mali my mother's, if not for the my mother's, meaning if not for the carbonus of the my mother's, line the sky the the were the world wouldn't uh, wouldn't be. Shanamanam Lai Bisa Yavin Balaila Khukas Shemaim Varats Lai Samti. If it wouldn't be my um, for the bris, meaning the the, that uh, the bris between Hashem and Klai Yisrael, then the world, the 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 Yomim and the Laila, day and night, will not not exist. So that's his. That's uh, Abraham Avinu is asking Hashem, "How do I know I'm gonna I'm gonna yarshin the Eretz Yisrael?" Amar Avram l'fnei Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Rebbeinu Shalom Shem Achas V'Shalom Yisrael Chaitim L'Fanecha. Maybe Klai Yisrael is gonna do bad. And you're going to destroy Klai Yisrael the same way you did it by the Dara Mavl and Dara Flaga. So Amar Lohi Lav, he said to him, no. Amar Lafana, Rebbeinu Shalolim, he said, So Avram asked Hashem, how am I going to know that you're not going to destroy the world? Amar Lohi, so he says, Kholi Egla Mishaleshes, and then he did the whole Brisbane Namasar, and take me Egla Mishaleshes, right, the third born calf, etc., etc. So Amar Lafana, Rebbeinu Shalolim, that's all when the base of Mikdash is around, so they could bring Karbonus. When there's no base of Mikdash, what's going to be with Kalai Yisrael? So, Amar Loi, Kvarta Kandi, let say the Karbonus. I already was Nesakin to them, the Seder of Karbonus, meaning the, the Psukim. Kozma, Chikarim, Ben, whenever the Kalai Yisrael reads, reads the Psukim of the Karbonus, Maila, Ni Aleim, Kilo, Makrim, and Lefane, Karbon. It's as if they actually brought a Karbon. Michael and Yakola and the same, and I'm Michael and all their right? This is a tiny. It shows you the importance of, of saying Kabonis. Kabonis, correct. Correct. That's why we have, uh, yeah, you're supposed to really say Kabonis. But it's way, 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 it's way, way more than there was a base of English. Unfortunately, correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, yeah. What are you going to do? Um, what are you going to do? But it's, yeah, but it sounds like we, what we discussed this way, when we did more. this. We were, what is the, that? You're mean? saying Kabbalah is the to Mikdash. You had the Mikdash twice times four. is 800 years. We've been in, in this Golis for 2,000 years now. 
Shem Yerach right. means two. When you're, when you're in the is, base of Migdash, only certain people can bring carbonos. Now everybody in Klai Yisrael has the zechus. Oh, so it's zechus that we're in Golis and that they've been killing us for 2,000 years. Well, that's a great zechus. You could also buy a Danish now. Wonderful. Well, I, if we I, never I, came to America, you wouldn't have a Danish. Great. Well, say, well, well know, if, but... everybody, if everybody would say the Karbanos, maybe we wouldn't be in Gullis anymore. Oh, now you're saying, talking. Be forgiven now from you're... All oh, good. Things. So you want to blame me. Okay, blame me. <laughs> if, they, if that makes you <laughs> turn Listen, if the shoe fits, there, I'll I'll be, I'm not blaming you can anybody. Put it on, you can put the Gullis on me. That's fine. Well, Enjoy say, your oh, day. Oh, 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 he wasn't hushing you for one minute and you don't say Karbanos. 15 minutes earlier. I don't say Karbanos. I don't believe it. I'm not a cowboy. <laughs> I don't say Kabbalah. You could tie well, the like a Maybe now. after this Kabbalah, you should. He, 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 he doesn't say Kabbalah. He doesn't now. Everybody oh, gets it tomorrow. He doesn't oh, say Kabbalah. He's busy yelling at me for saying Kataris. Always the first thing <laughs> sacrificed in the morning. Yeah. No, Psukha de Zimra comes pretty close, too. <laughs> I think Rabari needs a prune Danish. Yeah, anyway, no, but it's, it's, it's an interesting thing. We. We we said a var from the Mishnah Brura from the Chavetz Chaim about this that back then why would you bring carbonus? Why during the Beis Hamikdash why would you have to bring carbonus? Right, stay home and read the carbonus and finish. So we said in the Chavetz Chaim that only applied when you had the ability because it sounds like from here that that not carbonus reading it is even maybe even better than the carbonus. So he says no, this only works when you don't can't actually bring it. But you can't just say, I'm just going to say Karbanas. Nowadays, yes, it works like a uh, thing. So it's interesting. You ever heard of anybody who did a chet reading Parshas, uh, the, the Chattas? Like taking, you know, oh, I did something wrong. Let me, let me, uh, you know, I opened up the, I opened up we, a package. We read them every maybe, morning. My, maybe my but we have to do something wrong for every morning. morning. After this year, Michael should call his two buddies and tell them to relate Parshas Arias <laughs> every day. <laughs> I, actually, I, know, I actually I know three people that have a have a oh. oh boy, okay, <laughs> that's you gotta a find some new friend. You got to find Michael, some new friends. Michael, that's a chazaka, you know. But uh, okay, Michael, we, that, Rabarin, that, that, hey, that shul <laughs> membership by you is growing, huh? <laughs> maybe we can make no like this. If you read if you read the parsha of Arayis, it's keilu you did Arayis. Maybe tell your friends that, <laughs> right? Okay, anyway. we, could all, we could all say the 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 carbon chatas now. Oh, it's, um, oh, it's like <laughs> no, I just wonder. You ever hear of anybody who did a chet? No, I'm serious. Somebody uh, by mistake turns on a light on Shabbos, right? So, do we ever? How come we don't read the read the chatas? Read the parsha. Make a mother who just had a baby read it. Is the person getting a gashmak? Well, that, and a from no, that I think I've. That I think I've heard of mothers reading the parshias of the Shnei Tairim and Bnei Yaina and all that. I think I've heard of that. I don't think we'll have time for Is this else. on a personal level to read it, or is this Batsiva to lean it? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't think. No, I think it's read. I mean, it's from the Tyra. You have to read it from a class. Yeah. Okay. Or, or it's, okay. It's, 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 not, it's not for each it person to do on their own. It's it's. Uh, right, so, well, each uh, person does the Averis. They should read the Ktari, the uh, So listen, one year I decided, Erev Pesach, a lot of, all the Haggadahs have it. How come we don't read the, the Korban Pesach on Erev Pesach? If it's Kilo, you brought the Korban. We do. A lot of people. We do. We do. We do. I, did, I know, Rabenna, I know for sure you do. I tried it once, and then I, I ran out of gas. It was, it was long. <laughs> that was right, one of my... Rav Siakam, that's the famous Meister, uh, 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 Yosef Chaim and Rav Cook. That's the famous Meister. Because they used, to, they, went, they used to go they used to go to the Kaisel to say it. They got, everybody went to the Kaisel, Arab Pesach, to say it. And then uh, uh, Yosef Chaim went over to Rav Cook. He says, Yaf, well, he called him Yafa Rav. He said, but Yafa Rav, next year you should be, be you know, staying in the blood. B- in, uh, I don't know how to say knees. Because it says near the Kani, right? Very good. He says next year, Mitchell, we should be standing, you should you should be standing in blood up to your knees. I think that's so, okay. That's yeah, know, from the, the Mishnah. Is busy, is, yeah. They're busy saying that reading the letter of Rav Shimshon Mestropoli. Me What's that? Pesach. What is that? Oh, that's it's like a, the, the that's like yeah. the Parsons of Mon this past Tuesday. Right, for the oh, yeah. Sfardim. I think the Sfardim did that. I was busy uh-huh. doing the daf with you. 
Yeah, very good, Taka. I think the Rabbi Shalom's happy with that. I think so. <laughs> okay, you, mean, let's you, didn't a, you didn't get a call from Chase that you have too much money there. Please, they should diversify it to other other locations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay, Vaita. So, about Tainus, Brochus, or Clolus, Vein, Mafsikin, but Clolus. Right? So, by Tainus, um, it's Brochus and Clolus, and you don't stop with the Clolus. Meaning, you can't stop. You read all the Clolus straight through. You know, right? This is our favorite lane. When the Balkara goes fast and low, and you get out of there fast, right? So, you know, really. How do you know that you can't stop the clothes? I mean, that you don't stop the Ali in the middle. The Musar of Hashem, don't be disgusted by it. Right? So, um, and meaning if you stop reading, that means that you're unhappy with the Musar that Hashem is giving us. We don't make a bracha on punishment. So if you're going to stop the Aliyah, then you're going to have to make a new bracha, right? The next person getting the Aliyah is going to have to make a bracha. That means it looks like he's making a bracha about our punishments, which is interesting because that only goes since we started making new Aliyahs. But before that, right before that, when the people got called up to the Torah, they didn't make brachas. So then Lachara, that shouldn't have been a problem. Okay. Also, what happened to Kishem Shemivarach and Alatayi? Yeah, but that's once it happened to you. This is before. Once it happened before to you, we don't have, before we don't have the talking that the Abish that knows what he's doing. Only afterwards? No, I'm saying you're not going to make a bracha that Hashem's going to punish us. Why? There's no ra by the Abish. That's the whole point I of the but we have to, I know, but we have, to take, we have to look at it like it is a punishment. Right? You're not going to make a bracha. I, I don't think. Anyways, the Eli Hechi of it, how do you read it? Tanakashu Maschil, Maschil, the Pasuk Shilafanayim. What you do is when you start, meaning, because how do you make, so then how do you give any Aliyah to it? The right you making a bracha on the Peronius. So that's why we've stopped the Aliyah with a Pasuk before the Taichacha, so that the bracha is going, the bracha of the Aliyah is going on that Pasuk, not on the Taichacha. Right, that's what the Chaza, the the Balkar always raises his voice when he reads the regular the pasuk, the regular pasuk. So Amar Abaya, Loishanu Ella B'Klalas Shabbatayrus Kainin. Right, there's two sets of Klalas in the Torah. There's one in Bayikra, which is otherwise known as Tayrus Kainim, and then there's one in Devarim. Right, Ava Klalas Shabbat Mishnah Tayra Pasuk, but the Torah that the Klalas in Devarim, there you could stop. My timer. Why? What's the difference? Halolu b'lash and rabim amuras. The ones in in vayikra is said in in lash and rabim in plural. Umay shem et piagvura amran. And Moshe was saying in the name of Hashem. Halolu b'lash and yachad. But the ones in devarim is a lash and yachad amuras. Umay shem et piatzmay amran. Moshe was saying it by himself. So therefore, the ones in vayikra are much stronger. That's why it's said in the in the public, and it was coming straight from Hashem. Fine. Levi barbuti habakari become gamgim kameda ravuna baruri. Levi Babuti, I guess he was the Balkair in front of Rav Huna, and he was he was having a hard time pronouncing the words. And that's the way Rashi says it. So Amraloi, so Rav Huna said to him, do what do what you want, right? Uh, meaning if you can't read it, so don't read it because it's it's your your um you're you're disgusted by it. That's the way Rashi says that the reason why you can't you're not reading it properly is because you're disgusted by it. But that's only um, meaning because you only can't stop in the ones in Vayikra. But the ones in Devarim, you are allowed to stop. So that's what he told him. You could stop if you want. Tanya Rav Shimon ben Elazar Aimer. Ezra Tikkun Lenli Yisrael. So Ezra was Masakin. Well, Ezra is the one that created the whole the whole Kriyas Torah. Anyways, so he was Masakin. She Yukairin Klalos Shabbatayrus Kainim Kaidem Matzeres. You should read the curses. Of Vayikra before Shvuas, Vishavish the Tyra, Kaidim Rosh Hashanah, and Devarim before Rosh Hashanah. My time, what's the reason? Summer Abayah, Vitam Rosh Tlakish, Kadesh Tikla, Shana, Vikilisa. You want to read it before Rosh Hashanah so that the year with all its clawless will be over. So then you want to ask, Vishnu 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 Tyra. So that makes sense in Devarim, Ika Kadesh Tikla, Shana, Vikilisa. So that's Tikla, Shana, Vikilisa, Shabbatarist Kayanim. But in in Vayikra, Atu Atzeris, Rosh Hashanah, is Shvuas Rosh Hashanah? Why, what does Tichla, Tichla Hashanah of Kilis have to do with Shvuas? So my answer is, yeah, in Atzeres Nami Rosh Hashanah, Shvuas is Rosh Hashanah. The Tanan of Atzeres Al Peres Elon on Shvuas we have we we we're, we're what do you call it? We have we said this in Rosh Hashanah 
is a, there's a din on the fruits, right? So therefore, you want you want food to eat. So mamela, so mamela. That's why you want to read the clothes before then. Fine. What Tanya happens was, according to the Manda Amr that it's a three-year cycle? This doesn't work. This whole piece of Gemara. Lachara, right? Lachara, this whole yeah. Lachara doesn't work. It says Bavli that they did in Eretz Yisrael. So maybe. Right. If the old people tell you to knock something down and the, the young people tell you to build it, then knock it down, meaning listen to the old people of and don't build it. Why? Because when uh, when the elderly tell you to knock things down, then it's really building. Yeah, meaning, this, is, this, is good, this is good for shuls that always have to fight with the old board members and the young board members. Exactly right. Well, it's not good for the young board members. Right. It's not good for the young board members. Right? Right. So, uh, yeah. So, opinion narim stira, and the building of young people is stira. The similar dava, rechavim and shleim, and the simon is rechavim and shleim, so that was shleim's son when he took over. So, um, he didn't know whether to give into the people, not to give into the people. The older people said um, that he, sh- how did it go again? Uh, the old people said give in, and the young said not to, and it ended up being a bad situation. Fine. Right, so wherever they stop reading on Shabbos, then that's where you start by Mincha. By Mincha, by Mincha, Sham Karin. Besheni, that's where you start on Monday. Besheni, Shom Karim, Bechamishi. Meaning you're going in order. You're not repeating like we do. Bechamishi, Shom Karim, Lashabbos. And by, from Chamishi, then on Shabbos, you can you start from there. That would, that would be a good, this would be a good show thing too, Aaron. That would shorten the lanings for everything. Uh, it'd be very short laning on Shabbos if we already started I Shabbos. Why do you have to read Melch Shabbos? Why were they mistaken Mincha Shabbos? I think to, to learn in the Shabbos in the afternoon. That's what they say. I think that's well, what it says. It's to go, it's to, not to go three days without Torah, right? Right. We had, right. We so had yeah. the Gemara a little while ago. Yeah, but right. Yes. So if you did it Shabbos morning, then till Monday, what's the problem? Right. So I think because Shabbos afternoon, when the Oilam's off from work, not the Suda, whatever, the Oilam should sit and learn. I think that's what I think that's what it said. It doesn't say in the Gemara. No? I don't know if it was a Gezer. I think that that was the Kavana with it. Anyway, so, but the way they did it, according to Rameir, Rameir said, you go in order. You don't, there's no repeating. Wherever you stop by Shabbos, 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 you read the same thing over. And then on the next Shabbos, right? Um, that's what you keep doing. So, wherever you stop on Shabbos, 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 you read it by Mincha and, and Monday and Thursday for the Shabbos Abba, right? And then in the Shabbos Abba, um, you read it again, the same laning. So we repeat. The la- so, so why are you saying? So the Gemara says halacha, and it goes through the whole sheet. Why don't you just say halacha kareb Yehuda? The lame halacha kareb Yehuda. Why are you saying halacha? halacha why are you repeating the whole din? Just say that halacha is like Rabbi Yehuda. So Aleph. Because there are people that learned that Rameya Rabbi Yehuda, is that, meaning they switched the opinions. So since they switched opinions, if you're going to say like Rabbi Yehuda, then they might you may not know who to pass them like. So that's why it says, that's why it says um, what the halacha is, because then there's no confusion and you know exactly how to pass them. Yeah. Okay. Fine. We'll stop over there. Tomorrow night, regular time by you, Aaron, right? That's we were on for that? Yeah. Fine. Uh, we're not, we start, we start, Jack, we're starting my cutting also tomorrow. Or what are we doing? Uh, yeah, we're going to start my head cutting. Yeah. We'll start okay, my head cutting. We'll see. My head cutting ain't no Megillah. Let me tell you, I started it today. It ain't no walk in the park. Vacation is over tomorrow, Rabbi Sa. Uh, oh, this- <laughs> my head cutting. Even the Mishnah yeah. is so hard. Yeah. It's- it's uh okay, I don't want to scare it, but it's it's you know it's good, it's good. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Back to Farakaway, back to Farakaway. Here we go. Yeah, Have a safe trip. I'm in Lakewood. I, I'm in Lakewood at Bar Mitzvah. Um, yeah, so Alright, Tiako, drive safe. All right, thank you.